Today I want to show you how to make uh, the legendary Chinese spring roll or how to fold them. And this is the brand I've been using for years and this is the Double Happiness brand. Uh, you can buy any other brand as well. So first of all, when you take out the spring roll wrapper from the package, you have to use a knife very gently peel off each layer and set it aside and ready for use okay so use a dull knife don't use a sharp one and carefully it will peel off very easily okay so there you go that's one one sheet so what i'll do is i'll set it aside like that And I'll peel off the other one. Okay, now when you put the other one on top, you put it diagonally, just like that. So when you are doing the wrapping, it's easier for you to take it out. Okay, now I have all the spring roll wrapper all separated stack up together and i have my edible glue right here handy in front of me now why the edible glue this glue is made of a tapioca flour and water you put it in a small pot and heat it up let it cool off a little bit a lot of people they like to use egg white as their uh as the glue uh trying to secure the spring roll i kind of you know disagree with that uh First of all, the tapioca glue or the edible glue is relatively inexpensive, okay? And also, you can, you know, the whole purpose is to secure the, uh, the spring roll wrapper so they don't fall apart. And that serves the purpose, okay? And secondly, from a health standpoint, when you use egg white, egg white is easily contaminated, especially you leave it out for 5, 10, 15 minutes and your fingers keep on uh, getting into the egg white. Uh, so that's not too healthy. And number two, from a cost standpoint, one egg, well, we are in Canada right now, uh, one egg run the cost around like, you know, 25 cents, uh, depending on where you want to buy it. So that's a kind of expensive and you need to use maybe two to three egg whites or, or the egg white from two to three eggs. So everything escalate. That that that. As far as I'm concerned, that's not necessary. Okay. So what I do now, the spring roll wrapper. You have four corners. You always will find one corner has more wrinkle. You don't want that. Okay. So you use the one with the perfect angle away from you. I'll give you the reason why in a minute. Okay. So little bit of filler as usual you fold it and the other four finger you pull it back just like that okay you fold it you fold this side without the glue now you put on the glue you fold it the glue should get the uh, the wrapper to stay together now you put the more glue to the final triangle. Fold it carefully. There you go. That's your spring roll. Okay. Now the reason why you need the perfect angle uh, right uh, fa facing away from you, when you do the final folding, the imperfect or wrinkly uh, corner would always get a spring roll like from sticking out. Uh, more difficult to, to keep the spring roll together. So when you have a good, uh, good corner, the spring roll will simply stick together like that. You see the corner? Without sticking out, okay? So it's very easier. It's easier for the, for the, uh, for the deep fry uh, process later on. Now I will post the recipe down below and also, I'll include a very special Thai version 
of the spicy dipping sauce. And I can assure you that the dipping sauce is very tasty. So instead of using, you know, uh, vinegar, uh, you know, some people like to use uh, Worcestershire sauce, uh, ketchup, uh, you know, or plum sauce. This homemade Thai uh, spicy uh, dipping sauce, they're kind of special, okay? Give it a try. Thank you for watching.